Hey guys, welcome to the video. The last time I created a backup application in C, and this time I've created a file encryption and decryption software in Java. Now, the reason why I chose Java for creating this software is because last time there were certain issues with the GUI, the graphical user interface, and this time I wanted an appropriate GUI, so I chose Java uh, because it is uh, pretty simpler to create GUI when using Java. Okay, so. Uh, let me first download the application so this is the link you can download the source code and the application from this link I'll, pl I'll paste this link beneath the video uh, this is the e executable I'll open it in another tab and download it view raw okay save file there you go uh, let me just cut it control X and uh, paste it on the desktop hmm. so here's the application okay this is the mainframe and this is about the software you can download the application and uh, read about the software right now I'll demonstrate this software to you okay so this is the folder this contains an mp3 file a PDF file an image and uh, this film the adventures of Tintin okay this is the film fine and this is the sample this is the image this is the PDF file and this is the music file and I and let's say this is the folder and I don't want anyone else except me to either play this to play this music and to open this PDF file and to view this image and to watch the film I want only me to do that and I don't want anyone else except me to do that so I use this application this application will encrypt all the files which I choose so I'll choose encrypt my files option and uh, let us reach there desktop this is the folder okay uh, let me open this folder okay fine I chose this folder and I want its files its sub files to be encrypted uh, I'm uh, right now I'm satisfied with this list if I wish to include more files then I would use this option add more files to the existing and let's say I I want to forget these files and include some new files then I would choose this option right now we'll encrypt all the files in this folder so encrypt enter the password uh, let us enter a password the password let's keep it password p a s s w o r d password p a s s w o r d okay and proceed hmm the image since it is small in size it has been encrypted the pdf also it has been encrypted even the music file right now we are in the folder adventures of tintin even the sample has been en encrypted because it is small in size and right now it is encrypted in the film since it is a bit larger in size it is taking a bit long so the larger your file size will be the more time this application will take to encrypt it okay it has completed its encryption and now let us try opening these files this okay this is the music let me try opening it with uh, VLC media player okay here it is VLC media player hmm VLC is not able to open this uh, this PDF let us try to open it with Adobe Acrobat even this even Adobe is not able to open this PDF file the image let us try opening it with uh, an image viewer mm, image viewer okay we'll use win uh, windows photo viewer for this windows photo viewer is not able to open the file advantages of Tintin let us try opening this with VLC media player Yeah, VLC media player. What happened? Okay, let us try 
to open it with Windows Media Player. Let's try Windows Media Player. Where's Windows Media Player? Yeah. Windows Media Player is not able to open this file. This is VLC Media Player, Adventures of Tintin, and there's no progress shown over here, which means that it is not able to open the file. Yeah, because it has been encrypted. Uh, all these applications, they think the uh, they think these files to be corrupted but actually we have encrypted these files okay so now let us close this uh, you can uh, encrypt any kind of file with this app with this software like even this executable can be encrypted let me copy it copy paste and uh, let us create a new word document word document okay microsoft word document this new word document and let us enter some text uh, this is a text control s let me close it hmm. uh, let us try encrypting these two files okay so encrypt my files and uh, desktop okay now I can select this entire folder but then what's gonna happen is that the encrypted files they'll be encrypted twice you can do that if there are some files uh, which you wa want them to be more secure then you can encrypt it then you can encrypt them twice thrice and number of times you want but right now uh, since we just wanna encrypt uh, these two files we'll manually select them these two files have been selected select files to encrypt encrypt them enter a password let's uh, choose P A S S W O R D password 2 okay password 2 P A S S W O R D 2 okay proceed both the files have been encrypted let's try opening them let's try to open this with Microsoft Word hmm where is Word over here Word is not able to open this file you see it thinks it to be corrupted yeah it is purely some unreadable text let's close this now let us try to decrypt this, these files so decrypt my files and uh, let's try to reach over there this is the folder let us select the entire folder and uh, enter the password now here we have to enter the password which we had used for encryption let's say right now we want to decrypt the files which we had encrypted earlier and the password was P A S S W O R D password. Okay, and the files which we had encrypted later, the password was pass the password was password two. Uh, right, right now we'll just decrypt the files we had encrypted earlier. So we'll click on proceed. Hmm. You see, yeah, this thing, image has been decrypted, PDF has been decrypted. This executable you see it because the password differs the password used to encrypt this file this file was password 2 and uh, right now the password which we just entered is password so you see it gives a message the password is verified using SHA-512 hashing algorithm uh, and uh, the thing to remember over here is that this application does not store passwords because any password you type there's a hash created and stored with that file it is it is saved with that file and the next time when you enter the password for decryption it compares the hashes of both the passwords one thing to keep in mind over here is that if you forget the password then there is no way to recover the file okay i i think it is important to mention this point over here fine 
uh, even this word document the password used was different than the password which we entered right now and all the other files they have been decrypted fine okay uh, let, let us try to decrypt those two files as well desktop okay first let us open this folder you see these two files they are still encrypted this music it plays the music so we have the file it plays the music so we have the file back in its original form this image yeah the image we can open it this PDF we can open this as well the film VLC is able to play the film now yeah okay VLC is able to play this film and this sample as well so now so now we have our files back in the original form we'll try, we'll try decrypting those two files as well we'll select the entire folder again this time to uh, decrypt the password was password2 password2 proceed yeah you see the executable it has been decrypted and so has this word document fine and uh, and and the other files which have not been encrypted this software skips those files so the code so the uh, so the necessary code has been added so there is nothing to worry about fine so that's it about the application you can download the application from this link okay this link and you can download these the executable from this link as well the source code and the executable uh, so that's it so if you have any suggestions any queries you can contact me anytime this is my email arlinbatara at the so that's it guys thank you thanks for watching